What's up everyone? Welcome to another comparison video. Now in today's video, I want to compare Trey AI versus Windsurf AI. Now I tried both of these tools and I want to kind of give you my own opinion on those tools or on these tools. And also I want to make sure that you get out of this video with a clear uh, action on which tool you want to choose, right? Now, obviously I tried both of these tools, as I said, um, obviously I'm not going to go into like details on the every single feature, but I will kind of tell you my experience. So first hand experience, I would say Windsurf was a little bit better in terms of everything right from code completion to pretty much like refining the code, uh, less mistakes, stuff like that. And also Windsurf has more AI, um, AI capabilities in terms of that. Um, while Trey AI was good and the user interface was good, I seen some things in Windsurf that are much, much more better than in Trey. So let's talk about it, right? So obviously, you know, with user interface, uh, Trey AI is built on the VS Code framework. So Trey AI does offer like a modern look, minimal look uh, when it comes to the UI. It does combine elements from like JetBrains, if you ever use JetBrains fleet and also traditional VS code. So it does look a little bit like VS code. But to be honest, like if you if you want to use Trey, it's probably better to use VS code uh, with like plugins. Obviously, you, you get that in Trey as well. But you know, it's it is it is what it is. Uh, with Windsurf, right, it's also based on VS code, right? So Windsurf AI like features a really, really great UI as well. Uh, and I really like the Windsurf UI as well. Like this is how it looks like for those of you who are not aware. Um, I like the UI better on Trey, uh, but yeah, the UI is not the decision factor. Um, so yeah, that's like in terms of the UI, right? So in terms of like AI capabilities, Trey does integrate with models such as ChatGPT 4.0, Claude 3.5 Sonnet, and even now it integrates with Claude 3.7 Sonnet, which was a really, really great model. Uh, I'm not sure on the uh, Windsurf if Windsurf has this model available. If not, I would probably say that Trey is a bit better in terms of that AI capabilities. Uh, Windsurf does offer, on the other hand, right, Trey does offer like features like builder mode for rapid like project building uh, and Trey builder mode. This is what, what I'm referring to um, and natural language code generation. Uh, but um, I will just play the video here as well so you can kind of see. But what I have to say is Windsurf AI offers a little bit more on top of everything. So it offers code completion, uh, which is called super complete. This is like their feature. It also offers cascade. Cascade is uh, this right here on the on the right side. You have right with cascade. You can basically create projects with cascade. Uh, this is like an, an agentic chat or AI agent where you can kind of write and, and talk with an agent. Uh, it also has multi-file editing, code-based indexing, right? Uh, command suggestions, inline commands, code lenses, uh, flows as well, which is a real-time collaboration feature where you can collaborate with other people. And Figma to code conversion, which is very, very, uh, quite a lot of features compared to Trey AI, right? Now, in terms of performance and reliability, I would say with Trey AI, users have reported like frequent crashes, like people that I talk with and they use Trey AI, they have reported like crashes here and there. With Windsurf, it's not really that, uh, with Windsurf, it's much more uh, reliable. So I would say in terms of reliability, you know, with instances, with Trey instances, what I saw is that, again, there is a crash even with me multiple times within short periods for like a more complex projects as well. Windsurf is known for stability and consistency. So I would say Windsurf is winning by far in, in that regard in terms of performance and rel reliability. Um, so yeah, although the, the Trey AI is a good contender, uh, I would say, again, a Trey AI does lack some uh, very, very uh, simple thing. So next up, what I would say is pricing, right? So Trey AI, got to keep in mind, it's currently free for all the features, including integrated AI models. So if you want like a free AI models without any limitations, Trey AI might be a very good tool for you, especially if you're working on smaller projects, 
right? Now, if you're um, if you want like more complex projects and if you want more reliability, as I said, then Windsurf could be a better uh, contender. Now, obviously, Windsurf provides a free plan with unlimited access to cascade-based model and then core features as well, which is really, really awesome. So you get more features in Windsurf than in Tray AI for free. Plus, the pro plan is priced at $15 per month, uh, offering 500 uh, premium requests. So you get that as well in, uh, in uh, uh, Cascade or in Windsurf, sorry. So when we compare, obviously, the compatibility, right? Tray AI is currently exclusive to macOS while uh, Windsurf is compatible with multiple platforms, that makes Windsurf a clear winner, right? Because Windsurf has even more features in the free plan. It's uh, uh, free, you know, for that uh, particular plan. And then also it is available on Windows and on uh, Mac as well. Trey AI is currently building their own Windows uh, app, so we have to wait for that to happen. Now, some conclusions here, right? If you want a modern interface like with free access and advanced AI models that are operating on macOS only, I would choose Tray AI. If you are, you know, some someone like me that really likes clean stuff, minimal, and stuff that you know you can use as well. But again, keep in mind on those crashes, right? If it crashes for you, I would go and switch to Windsurf. So again, it's not really you know good to compare these two tools just because I think each tools is, you know, has its own unique features. But again, if you want a reliable platform, all in one platform free as well, and also, you know, with a great UI, I would choose Windsurf personally. Although Tray AI is great, I think Tray AI still needs to work on a couple of things such as reliability and then also Windows uh, feature. And not only that, but also some more features to compete with Windsurf AI. So that's what I would say. Again, this is my uh, personal feedback and personal opinion. I would love to see what you guys think as well in the comments below. So definitely comment below and yeah, let's chat. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you in the next video.